One of the most beautiful plot flowers on this planet, as well as the most revered in ancient Egypt and uh, in ancient Egyptian mythology, the lotus. But it comes out of mud, dirt, nothingness. People don't pay attention to mud or whatnot, besides pigs. They like mud because it pulls them off and things like that. But the lotus comes out of that. It's like when Kendrick Lamar says, um, if I told you that a flower bloomed from a dark room, would you trust it? If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? Some people can't trust it. That's why. They look at you and they'll be like, how? There, they must be a fraud. They must be fake. No, I'm resilient. No, I'm a real one. No, I have faith. I had I higher power, things like that. My childhood disenfranchisement and isolation set me up for my uh, uh, spiritual inheritance as an adult. That's why a lot of people can't trust it either. That's why a lot of people come for you too. Because they sold themselves out. They sold themselves down the river for friends. They sold themselves down the river for clout. For association and affiliation. And now they're realizing what they gave up. So they try to make you feel like, oh, you're weird. You're, there's something wrong with her. She's weird. Like, I'm going to give you an example. Look at my karmics. Look at them. Some of them are grown ass men, confused about their sexuality, doing any fucking thing, but trying to tell me that I'm weird though. Involved in all kinds of bullshit and fuckery that they're not getting exposed for. That's another thing too, you guys. You have to realize this. Why the fuck would you ever listen to what a confused, trifling ass person has to say about you and your personality? Think about that. Somebody that doesn't even know themselves. How the fuck are you gonna tell me about myself? You don't know you yourself, huh? It's like the child trying to tell the mother that it created it. You see what I, the blast for me right there? Think about this. The karmics that you guys have to deal with, even your own family. Because that's where a lot of the gaslighting comes from. Even your own parents, they be jealous of you. You see how they live their life? They'll say, they'll say one thing to you, but they live their life in a completely different way. Why don't you practice what you preach? Because your life is not an all reflection of the shit that you talk. Think about that. Even for some of your parents or your grandparents or, the, or your, your siblings and things like that. They talk, they talk about, they talk down about you and things like that. 